hair is now working the tips of the fingers, right in there, beautiful motion, but pretend like you're pulling and squeezing against something. Beautiful action as we're going through a full range of motion for the wrist joint. Now, let's proceed to the elbow joint. We'll rest the wrist and go to the elbow joint. I'm working the biceps, the triceps, and I'm still flexing with my fist to do a full rotation right here. And Michael up his dumbbell power right there. He's flexing the biceps, doing a great job. And as you go outward, you're actually working the triceps. Beautiful muscles, biceps and triceps. Two heads and three heads respectively. One way and then whoa, you got to reverse and go the other way. Pretend like you got a dumbbell in your hand, and at the same time, your deltoids or shoulders are holding your arms up, and it's actually allowing you to get development all the way through your fingers, your wrists, your hands, your forearms, your elbows, your biceps, triceps, and shoulders. There's a lot going on here, even though these seem like real simple exercises. Okay, from the elbows, let's go further up the body and let's do a shoulder rotation. Do it slow and easy at first because you got big, heavy dumbbells in your hands. You're going back, stretching the chest, contracting the upper back. Beautiful motion. What we're doing here is working the full revolution of the deltoid of the shoulder muscle group. There's seven heads of the shoulder, beautiful muscles. You need to warm them up, you need to train them, but not only is this warming them up, you're getting the advantage of flexing them at the same time and putting resistance into the muscle. Really beautiful. Now stop guys and go, whoa, in the opposite direction. And look at Kaylin here. She's stretching her rib cage. She's stretching her chest muscles. She's stretching her shoulders. There's a lot going on there. And she's got some heavy dumbbells in her hands. Even though she's got a smile on her face, you're providing resistance as you're also developing flexibility at the same time. Okay, get a wide stance. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a torso twist and reach into it. And what you're doing, you're revolving right off the pelvis. Your legs are rocking you from side to side, but you're working the whole core region of the body. Beautiful action right here, and that's what Michael's doing. He's reaching, he's actually sending his body, and if you can see behind everybody, they're rotating their spinal column from side to side. A lot of muscles, a lot of tendons, a lot of ligaments, a lot of nerve fiber. You need to make them flexible, at the same time you need to get them strong. Okay, keep it going, side to side like that, and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna reach down, cross over, toe touch, come up. Crossover toe touch. Come up. These are not speed motion, but I want you to pretend like you got a barbell on your back or dumbbells in your hands. So you're working strength and flexibility at the same time. These routines are fast. They combine a lot of principles all into one routine. That's why you get great results in such a short period of time. Keep it going. Keep it flexing. Don't bounce. Don't go too fast. The other routines, we're going to work the fast twitch muscle fiber and really explode. Right in here, just go strong and reach into it and come up like you got a sack of potatoes in each hand. Keep it going. Nice, strong, and easy. Beautiful motion. That's going to make your body flexible, strong, lean, shapely. And did I mention you're going to burn a lot of body fat? <laughs> that happens automatically when you do this stuff. Keep it going. Beautiful job right in there. Nice, stretch, and easy. And from in here, what we're going to do, same stance, we're going to do a rotating lunge. Now, this is not a fast motion. For those of you who are more flexible, your trail needs to come down and touch, not bounce. Touch the floor or the surface right in here. For those of you who are not so flexible, don't go down so far, like Michael right here. He's going through a semi-range of motion until your knees to your quadriceps, which are the four muscles on top of your femur bone or the upper leg, and your hips, your hamstrings, your buttocks become more flexible. Then you can go a little bit faster and a little bit stronger right there. Keep your balance. Look straight ahead. It's almost like you're inline skating or playing hockey. Beautiful motion for coordination, for body shape, for flexibility. You're working the hips. You're working the knees. You're working the ankles. Beautiful exercise that you will get an advantage from even during a warm-up routine. This here, because we're combining flexibility with working the muscle for strength as well as flexibility as well. Last one, bounce and breathe. And I love this one here because what this one does pretends like a boxer who's jumping rope. You're just shaking your body. You're removing a lot of the lactic acid and the toxic particles that build up in the muscles during exercise. Release that and breathe. 
Now, here you guys breathe. <laughs> right in there. And what breathing does, it cleanses the respiratory system. We need to oxygenate our muscles. And by only doing so, we, we bring oxygen into our body, it filters through the lungs, gets right into the bloodstream. It makes our body alive. So keep it bouncing. Keep it going. 15 seconds at the end of this workout. Keep it bouncing. Get those fingers tingling right in there. Keep shaking it. Keep on going. You guys are looking fantastic. We're almost done. And great job. Time for chest, kneeling, rotating, push up. Come down and push up and rotate to the opposite side. Go slow and controlled to stretch the chest, arms, and shoulders on the way down, and then pivot and rotate to the opposite side. There's a lot going on here. You're using the weight of your whole upper body weight, the head, the back, the rib cage, the arms, to be the resistance against your chest muscles, your arms, your shoulders. And for us more anatomically educated, the chest are the pectorals. Keep it going. Let's see how Michael's doing over here. Good job. What this does is teach you a lot of versatility. Because you're moving your body from side to side. It's not just like locking yourself in to a bench press machine at the gym or just doing a straight push-up. And obviously by having your knees on the floor, you're just utilizing the weight of just your upper body, not the hip or the, or the lower body. Great exercise. Do it full and controlled. Make sure you get yourself on a soft surface because every time you kneel down, your kneecap is going to be contacting the floor. Go on our website, pick up one of the yoga mats. Very advantageous. Make sure exercises make you comfortable. Let's check out Amy over here. Good job. Keep it going. Go at your own speed. You can't go this fast, but if you can go faster, go at your own speed. You're going to vary them up. <laughs> Look at Kaylin over there. She's already freezing. Okay, now let me tell you what goes on. Now right here, as a personal trainer, come down, and I'm going to help her up. I'm going to put my hands in her clavicles right here. Good job. She was concerned about this before the actual class itself, but that's okay. Some people are stronger. Hold it right there. We'll go over to Michael. Good job, Michael. Good job. So do as many as you can do. If you can do the full minute, more power to you. If you can't, do them slow, do them controlled. All you know is that when you're doing the exercise, you're getting great benefits in the chest, the arms, the shoulders. How are we doing? <laughs> okay, I'm going to assist you right here. And again, some of you may have training partners right here. Push up. I'm actually taking the resistance up off for her. Keep it going right there. Okay, stand up, guys. <laughs> okay, rotating palm twist right here. Another upper body plyometric, and it's the chest that's working right in here because the pectoralis muscles are round muscles, and we're doing 180 degrees on one arm, 180 degrees the other arm, 180 plus 180 is 360. It's a full circle right in here. Beautiful action right in here. Try not to touch the hands. Beautiful motion. Let's get a wider range of motion. Beautiful. And we're not just flapping our arms around right in here. We got resistance against the palms of our hands, and we're squeezing them in right in there. Let's go a little wider, guys. Right in there. Keep it squeezing. Beautiful exercise. We must, we must build our chest. <laughs> Keep it going. It's really beautiful. Nice and strong, shaping all the muscles of the pectoralis region right there. Okay, wide stance, and let's get ready for uppercuts. Right in here. Now, it looks like I'm just flying my arms in front of me. But what I'm doing is like at the gym, you grab that cable machine, you're squeezing it forward. It's one pec and the other pec. One side of the chest, the other side of the chest. Beautiful motion. And this here is variable intensity training because the previous exercise were more static contractions. It's more explosive right in here. And to move your muscles fast, you got to think fast. It's a central nervous system response. It's like faster, faster. Good job. Keep it going. 30 more seconds on uppercut right in here. Work in the chest. Anytime you can get yourself to look in, in a mirror, watch yourself exercising, shirtless and tank top, watch those muscles working. Really beautiful. Right in there. Keep it going. Squeeze them with the chest. Arms are working too. Shoulders. And my torso pivoting from side to side. Keep it going. Beautiful. Come on. Right in here. Okay. Next exercise is clappers. No clap, clappers. Don't clap the baby to sleep. Keep it going. If you touch your hands, oh, you made a mistake. Right in here. Same thing, upper body plyometrics, right in here. A little short flutters, right in there. And you're gonna feel it in the deltoids, the outer shoulders right in here, and the pecs, because the pecs are always pulling the arms in, like the wings of a bird squeezing in. Beautiful action, right in there. Let's go a little bit higher, towards the upper chest, frontal deltoid, right in here. Work in the chest, keep it squeezing. Good job, little flutters, 
Keep it going. Let's go down low. So now we hit the outer lower rim of the chest. Beautiful exercise. We must, we must really train our bust line and chest. It's the only way to do it. Total body sculpting right in here. Even squeezing. Let's go a little bit wider. Squeeze it in. And bring those hands fast together, but don't let them touch. You're actually putting on the brakes with your brain and muscle coordination. Keep it going. Great job. So flutters right here. No clap clapping. Upper body plyometrics. Keep it going. We got one more minute here. So keep it going. Little flutters. Little flutters. Come on. I heard a little woo. <laughs> keep it going. Good job. Keep it squeezing. Keep it squeezing. Don't touch my hand. Don't touch my hand. Come on. Get as close to my hand as you can. Up a little higher. Up a little higher. Good job. Come on. For those of you who work out together, you got training partners, little techniques like this. Don't touch my hands on the way out. Oh, I tricked you. <laughs> I really tricked you. Don't touch your hands on the way out right in there. Good job. And lower right in here. Good job. Come on. Let's keep it going. 30 seconds. Less than that. <laughs> keep it going. Beautiful job. Come on. Keep it squeezing. Fast twitch muscle fiber contraction. The fast twitch really makes the muscles more dense, firmer, stronger, more explosive. Burns a lot more calories. Keep it going. Come on. Feel it in the shoulders. In the pecs. Five. Four. Come on. Three. Two. One. Good job. Shoulders. Great muscle group to train. Let's start with circles. Keep it going right in here. Now, this isn't just arms dangling. You actually have weights in your hands. Dumbbells holding on to your shoulders right in here. Have them connected. Full range of motion. Full circles. The shoulders are also known as the deltoid for us more anatomically educated, like all of us here with the No Excuses Workout. Keep it going. Keep it squeezing. You actually have, again, a resistance in your hands as you're rotating full 360 degrees of the deltoid muscles. Deltoids are beautiful because they revolve the whole arm uh, socket right in there, the three-headed muscle in the front, three-headed on the side, one single muscle in the back. You're going to hit them all. Just slow it down. Now reverse. Just go in the opposite direction. To hit the same muscle group, but from a different angle of contraction. It's really phenomenal. Well, you see swimmers' the upper bodies, gymnasts' upper ball. bodies, boxers' upper bodies. Still you know that, wow, that person has great musculature because they're using their muscles from so many different angles of contraction. Beautiful motion. Stay with it. Stay with it. Come on. Keep it squeezing. Let those dumbbells get heavier and squeeze those deltoids <laughs> and shoulder muscles for through a full range of motion. Upper back, chest is working, and the arms. Squeeze those hands, so you're working the fingers, hands, and wrists. Great job, keep it going. Keep squeezing right in here. We're gonna transition to the next exercise, forward flutters with the hands facing down. Now, this is actually an upper body plyometric because of the plyometric action right in here, and you're fluttering. You can go real short motion right in here, and the deltoid muscle is constantly being worked. And at the same time, your arms are working because you got to lock the elbow. So keep it fluttering right in there. Good. You can open your hands a little bit wider to get a little more angle of contraction. Keep it going. Keep it fluttering. This doesn't look like much, but when you do it, it's a lot faster. This is awesome where you can contract those muscles and really put more nerve energy into the muscles, which makes you so much stronger, so much more explosive. That's what variable intensity training is about. You can go slow and hard or fast and explosive. Great, great job. Keep it going. Palms facing each other and just a different angle of contraction, but it's a flutter. It's an upper body plyometric. It works fantastic. These are exercises where you don't need resistances, you don't need equipment. You can do it right here and get great results. Okay, now what we want to do, lean forward and thumbs facing each other. So the thumbs are facing each other. Keep your upper body locked. We're opening up the back part of the shoulder, that single-headed deltoid or shoulder muscle, and we're squeezing it back. But not only are you working just the deltoid, you're working the trapezius, the big muscles of the upper back and the latissimus dorsi. Great job. And you got those dumbbells in your hands. So, of course, your arms are working and your fingers, wrists, and forearms are always getting a great workout. Good job, Amy. Keep it squeezing. Squeeze it back. The deltoid muscles pull the arms behind you. Great job. Keep it squeezing. You're at the gym, you got to grab onto the cable machines or some other types of lat pulling machines with dumbbells right here. 
you pretend you have the resistance or the machine in your hands and you're applying the resistance with your brain. If you get tired, then just lighten up a bit, but don't quit. Knock out some more calorie burning, fat enhancing repetitions. Keep it going. Keep it going. Okay, let's get ready for back strokes right in here. Lean back. You're working your torso. And I'm going to show you something really cool in just a second here, but you got dumbbells in your hands. Now, if I didn't have my arms at all, here's what my torso is doing. I'm working my abs, my obliques, my lower back muscles. But I'm working the arms too. With dumbbells in my hands, you're squeezing it through a full, great range of motion, working those shoulder muscles and the abs and the obliques. So none of these routines just isolates one muscle. It's impossible to isolate just one muscle because we're getting so many more benefits from just one exercise. So keep it going. We're going to get great results. Good job. Good job. Tense the muscle. I know we all got smiles on our faces here, but come on, let's grit it down and really put some energy behind it. Okay, reverse, go the opposite way, and forward strokes. Now lean into it. Let's keep going. Now, we can go a little bit faster, and I think we're going to go have to go a lot faster. I do a lot of swimming in the ocean, and if there's ever a shark coming on you, come on, shark attack. <laughs> keep it going. Come on. That's the time when you know you got to roll out those shoulders a lot quicker. So keep it going. What an incentive that is, huh? Shark attack. Keep it going. <laughs> you got dumbbells in your hands. You're swimming in water. Wow, it feels great. Nice refreshing, huh? Nice to take a dip every once in a while. Good job. Stroke it out. Front strokes. Keep it going. Okay, we're going to do the last exercise here, alternating press. Now you got dumbbells in your hands at the gym, very popular exercise. You can do them seated or standing, but here I like to do it standing because I'm gonna show you something in just a second here. Watch this. If I'm not using my arms, what am I doing? I'm bending my torso, so I'm working the core, my obliques, my abdominals, all my spinal muscles, but at the same time, the arms and the deltoids. So keep it going, keep pumping. Come on. You actually have a resistance in your hand, right in here, so keep it going. Press it up. You're the resistance. Keep it going. 30 seconds left. Come on. Keep it pressing. Good job. Excellent. Push it strong. Come on. Build those arms. Build those shoulders. Keep it pumping. Get muscular. Get strong. Burn body fat. Stay with it. You're your own coach. We're all working out together. We're having great results. Keep pumping. Come on. We're getting there. We're getting there. Five seconds left. Five. Four. Three, two, one, you're done. Great job. Legs, I love legs. Let's get started. Alternating knee up. You're holding on to dumbbells. There's a resistance with the upper body. You're bobbing your torso from side to side. But more importantly, you're lifting your knees up with heavy weights on the bottom of your feet. Pulling them up right in here. Working all the quadricep muscles from the knees to the hips. You're working your lower abs by a little bob right in here. Working the obliques full torso and again we're holding on to dumbbells. Michael's doing a great job here. Just keep it pumping, keep it marching. You're the resistance. You're actually putting more resistance to your muscles by thinking about it. You don't have to be at a gym to hold on to weights or go into one of those machines. You got it right here. You just got to think about it. Unique is doing the same thing. Good 